Hey folks, do you have troubles starting maybe your older vehicle? Well, I have a tip, and it's what I'm going to do. You can see here the fuel line. This is the one coming into the engine from the gas tank. Fuel pumps in the tank. This one here is a uh, Jeep YJ Wrangler. I think it's a 2.5 engine. I changed just about everything to help it start. You know, so it would start up faster. New fuel pump, um, distributor cap, the spark plugs, the coil, the rotor, the fuel regulator, the crankshaft sensor, the computer on the firewall, and it still doesn't seem to start like it should. Compression's fine, the engine's in good shape, cylinders are in good shape. So what I'm going to do, and what I want to share with you, and you might want to try it, is in this line right here close to the engine, I'm going to put this little one-way valve. There's an arrow on there, so it goes this way. I'm going to put that in there. And what's that, what that's going to do is, when the fuel pump pushes fuel towards the motor, as soon as it gets past this valve, it will not be allowed to back up. Which is going to keep pressure in the system. Because that pressure may be leaking back out somewhere along from this point to the gas tank. I checked all the lines, all the connections, they seem to be tight. There are no leaks. I don't hear any sounds of air or anything like that. New fuel pump in the gas tank, which the valve inside there might not be the best. There might not even be a valve in there, not exactly sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little chuck valve in here. Now this one here is meant for gas or fuel or water, of course, it's aluminum. So if you want to try something, just make sure you get the right type check valve. You don't want one that will not tolerate gasoline. This one here will tolerate gasoline. The components inside are made from a material that resists gasoline and there it's all okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Put this in line, an inline check valve. And if you're having troubles with your vehicle and it's not starting up, you know, fast like it used to, and you went through and changed a few components yourself, and you understand that it's still not starting like you would like it to, you might want to give this a try. It might help out quite a bit. Well, thank you folks for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that already have.